Hello, it's Emily with Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust. Today I am at the Davidson Street location of the Greenway Park System. Uh, we are going to be looking at this beautiful riverine habitat as well as some of the plants and animals that call this place home. We will be creating an event map together and also talking about some of the larger projects we have going on for the future for this Greenway. The Concord River Greenway Park runs parallel to the Concord River. The existing trail is owned and managed by the City of Lowell. Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust has been an active partner in the creation of the Greenway since 2000, with support from the Greater Lowell Health Alliance who have funded work in trail connectivity. The Greenway is special for many reasons. A big one is the connectivity for both recreational use and animal use through nature corridors. The Greenway already connects to Shedd Park and Fort Hill Park and will eventually connect those places to the cemeteries and trail network downtown. In the future, the goal is to connect the Greenway to the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail. For animals, riverine connectivity is so important. There are species of fish that depend on the connectivity of these rivers to complete their life cycles. An example would be a species of herring called the owlwife. Owlwife migrate between freshwater and saltwater to complete their life cycle. They are therefore considered a diagemous fish species. Low Parks and Conservation Trust helps to monitor these fish as they pass over the fish ladder at Wamasit Falls. When you visit the Concord River Greenway, you'll notice how many bird species love it here. During this time of year, you may spot a red-winged blackbird who prefers to nest along wetlands. If you're lucky, you may see a pair of Canada geese with their babies. These babies are called goslings. In April and May, spring water runoff creates increased rapids in the Concord River. These rapids can increase to class three or four rapids. Because of this, Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust partners every year with Zor Outdoor to provide a unique urban whitewater rafting experience down the river. There are a variety of riverine and wetland loving tree species along the shore of the Concord River. You'll be able to see many river birches with their trunks growing straight out of the water. Their habitats range from river banks to riparian forests to lake shores. These trees are special as they are on the watch list for Massachusetts and are considered rare and threatened in the bordering state of New Hampshire. Right up over the trail, we have a box elder, which is actually in the maple family. Upon closer inspection, you can see that this is actually a compound leaf. It has similar maple shapes up at the top here, this, this, uh, this first leaf. But this is actually considered, this whole thing here, from my fingers down, the entire leaf. This is another view of the box elder leaf and its trunk. is an illustrative depiction of the box elder leaf. The leaf is compound and usually made up of three smaller leaflets. Box elders prefer moist soils and is therefore commonly found along riverbanks, lakes, and swamps. also be able to find silver maples along the Greenway Trail. A defining characteristic of the silver maple is the pale silvery underside to the leaf. The tree itself, when it's young, has a light gray bark and as it grows the bark becomes shaggy and scaly. Silver maples also prefer moist soils and can be found along stream banks and floodplains. There is so much to discover at the Greenway. 
Thank you so much for joining me as we took this tour along the Concord River and created this event map for the Greenway Park. As always, if you create any nature journals or event maps of your own, please send a photo into Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust.